guys welcome to yet a new video today we are in stockwell south of london we are filming the launch commercial for a new gimbal by Gwin. actually you're not supposed to see this yet this is the crane m2s i reviewed previously the m2 and the m3 and you can see the videos down here in the description tab but i want to introduce you to the team we have joe behind the camera the main camera giovanni right there photographer of the day and then follow me we're gonna find Frankie as well. Frankie in the house. Skater from Bristol originally, but living in London for a while. He's our talent, guys. Check him out on Instagram. Yeah, check all these guys on Instagram. We have FPV drones, great filmmaker, <laughs> Joe. So great team today. We're gonna start the vlog right now. I'm in the mood, man. Can you feel the vibes? <laughs> We're talking about the Crane M2S today, starting by saying that this is a mix between the M3 and the M2. So the body is exactly the same of the M2, but the motors are exactly of the M3. So it's tinier compared to the M3, but it's powerful as the M3. And that's why I can hold a Sony A7R on top with a tiny lens, but also I can use a lapel microphone on top of it, a wireless microphone, because that's how strong the motors are. And that's the big difference between the Crane M2 and the Crane M2S. Stay handy, get ready. That's the slogan of the gimbal. We're gonna talk about the different kits it comes with. Uh, the standard kit comes with, let me check, with the cables, we have a tripod, EPP case, and the fill light filters. The price is 269 US dollars. Then, we, I know, right? <laughs> it's so cool. And then we have the combo kit, which is the one I've got, which comes with all the things I've just mentioned, plus the backpack, which is the white backpack you've seen uh, right here. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm gonna fire this filmmaker behind the camera. And then the phone clamp and the price is 349 US dollars. So check the description links down here to, to get your gimbal. Just get it so I get some money as well. <laughs> That's not a joke. <laughs> okay, let's carry on. Let's talk about the dimensions and weight. You can see how portable this thing is. It's gonna save your back, right Joe? Oh, it's, yeah. It is holding a much bigger gimbal with a much bigger camera. But this is the beauty of this kind of uh, stabilizer. They're tiny, they fit in your backpack, you can travel with them anywhere, commute with them. In terms of weight, it weighs 549 grams. The dimensions are 24 centimeters in, term, in terms of height, 6.8 centimeters and 15 the width of the gimbal. Okay, let's talk about the design, guys. In terms of design, once again, very easy, slick, it reminds of the M2, but the color reminds of the M3, so the new models. Talking about the body, we have a digital display, just to go through the settings. It's tiny, but that's what you need. You don't need anything else. Very few settings. And we have a screw, one quarter inch screw thread on the side, which is very handy if you want to plug in an external microphone. So you can put a cold shoe and plug in your microphone right there, as you can see again in the clips right here. And that's the kit we were using today. So we're using an external microphone, a lapel mic, actually wireless system to record the sound of the video. One of the key features is the bag, as we mentioned, the white bag, which is waterproof, water resistant. It's made of different layers. Uh, so they changed the technology in building the bag. The next feature is the quick release plate, which is the V shape release plate. It features also dual safety lock. So right here at the back 
for more safety, but you can also choose to upgrade to a universal balance-free quick-release plate for run-and-gun scenarios. One feature that comes from the Crane M3 is the fill light in the front of the gimbal that offers you 1000 lumens of brightness in a 2.8 cm squared. You have five levels of adjustable light and four color filters. Uh, which give you unlimited possibilities of creation in various filmmaking environments. The color temperature is 5600 Kelvin degrees, so completely daylight. Another good feature, actually, we haven't mentioned is the capabilities of mounting different cameras, different devices on the gimbal. So today we, has, we have used a smartphone, an iPhone uh, 13 Pro, we use the Sony Alpha family camera but also a GoPro so you can you have a variety of devices right there, you can use it with anything. Functionality, we have a USB-C port which allows you to control the camera through the gimbal so you can literally push the rec recording button on the gimbal and the camera will start recording. Buttons and modes, power button, we have the menu button, you have the mode button so you can switch between all the modes, so the follow modes, uh, pan follow, the lock mode as well and the rec button which can work actually to control your camera through a USB cable which is very handy not to knock the camera and the gimbal off balance and the light button right here so, well a joystick but let's not forget the trigger with the triple click of the trigger you will go in selfie mode for vlogging Rolling. battery life to well it's quite fast to charge the gimbal it takes one hour and 40 minutes more or less and on paper the battery should last 10 hours now we've been filming since 10 this morning it's 4 39 and the gimbal just went off so i could wrap it up in six hours of runtime with this kind of setup so with a sony alpha 7 family basically and a tiny lens that's how long it lasted you can confirm it yeah, confirms, man. If Joe confirms, <laughs> that, yes, that's the word. Well, I think I gave you more or less uh, an overall look of the gimbal. It performed really nicely so far. Again, I've seen the footage through the tiny monitor of the Sony A7R3, so I can't really go into details, but you will see the footage uh, in the commercial you will see on the Gwin website. I was very happy with the portability. I mean, I would love to work with this stuff every day, to be honest. Unfortunately, you can't hold uh, the zoom lenses yet, but we can't complain. I'm probably gonna make a tutorial on how to use the Crane M2S, but also a comparison video between the Crane M2S and, and the Crane M2, because I'm sure you wanna know about it. So far, thumb up to Juin one more. Actually, I say thanks to Juin, but also to these guys, the Team Rocks. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.